back. Oh, thank you. So nice to see you. Oh. My Suzanne will not forget that. Oh, good. That is, she is one of the many people who've helped make that drama number one. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And congratulations to you for being a part of such a successful yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a thing. How did that all turn? Let me touch your hair. Is it Go hard? It. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Good jeans, I guess. Yes, uh-huh. Is it a lot of maintenance? No, just wet it. Just wet it and forget it. That's it. Cute. I can't do maintenance. I'm not going to stand in the yeah. mirror for hours. I'm just getting out the shower and walking out. If I have to put clothes on, I will. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> you've got very nice skin. It looks like you eat well and you really don't I need a whole... Too. Yeah. I try Thank you for noticing. You're very I welcome. Really, I really try to do that. Well, I'm a skinnista. Like, I'm always looking at people's Is skin. Is that a new thing? Is no. that a word now? <laughs> well, uh, that's my word, word in, now. in my vocabulary. Yep, absolutely. Look, back to the show. Now, look. So you did Everybody Hates Chris for how many years? Four. Um, that show is a huge show in my house, box set and yes, the whole bit, even today. It, yeah. My son absolutely adores, and I love the entire cast. And then um, that show ended, and you had some in-between time. I did. And what were you doing? Studying. Um, studying what? Yeah, film and drama. And... Got you. Yeah, I wanted to kind of... I've done that show for so long, and anybody who does a show for that long, yes. you kind of get stuck in, in what that character is. Yes. And I wanted to kind of move on and you know, do something that was, you know, kind of in this genre, you know, something that's a little bit dramatic and, uh, and intense. Now, how old are you now? 22. Okay, so did you, study like, did you study at, like, USC, or did you study... I didn't. You know, I was going to go to school, and I was, you know, kind of... But they didn't want me to work for four years, and yeah. I've been working since I was four, and so for me, yeah. that didn't really compute. So I got together with a really good coach. Yeah, yes. Um, out in L.A., and he broke me down and, you know, built me right back up. And uh-huh. I spent, you know, hours and hours in the studio every week. And, yes. um, yeah, now I'm kind of here. Good for you. So now, how are your brothers? They're good. They're good. It's a whole showbiz family, everybody. Yeah, you know, we kind of... He, he's been, um, Tyler's been acting since he was four, but look at the two brothers. They're like, they're like, you know what? You're like the, um, the, the black uh, Lawrence brothers. You know, Joey Lawrence okay. and all those brothers with the hair. How old are they now? Oh, gosh. Uh, Tyrell is 17, mm -hmm. and the baby boy, Tylen, is 13. And now, yeah. are they both working? Yeah. Uh, Tyrell's show, Lab Rats, on Disney XD is in their fourth season, oh, and the God, baby boy is on Tia Maori's show now. On, T uh, on uh, yeah, Instant, Instant Mom. Mom. Instant, Instant Mom. Mom. Now, now, who's the woman with the hotness? That, oh, wait. That put that back up. I was about to ask him. Go ahead, they, they jumped the gun, but put, put him up there yeah, with his girlfriend. Now, who is this? That would be my lady, that is uh, Karina. You've been with her for a while. You yeah, were with her last, last time, time we you were, were here. here. So it's been like two and a half years, two years some change. Yeah. She's got a very, very nice look, and you look like don't mess with her yeah, and don't mess with me. Yeah, that's kind of my thing. That's kind of my thing. I know what she looks like, so I'm typically yes. angry when people take photos. Now, where, <laughs> now what, does she, what does she do for a living? Uh, she's a singer. She's an artist. And uh, actually, we just did a uh, music video together um, recently. And tell me, I think we have a little bit of that do music you? video. Do we have it? Now, from what I hear, the song that she's singing was co-written by the both of you about her having a heavy heart after the ex or the um, rest in peace music mogul Shakir Stewart yes. took his life. So she wrote and uh, produced the song. Um, she was signed by Shakir. Uh huh. Um, and when when he actually took his life, we you know she went through this really interesting time um, that took up until now. It's been you know I don't know almost what ten years now. Yeah. Um, where she's, you know, she was just kind of really depressed and not she really realizing that she was like grieving for this mm -hmm. and in some ways felt responsible. So she had written the song one day and played it for me and was like, I really want to get this out and do this. So I wrote a treatment for the video and um, I was in Atlanta while we were shooting Walking Dead and I was like, I'll just fly back one weekend and we'll shoot it and we'll see what happens. And yeah, it's a supportive out now. boyfriend. I try I to love be. that. Now, do, you, do, you, do you guys live together? No, no, we do not. That's a step that comes. With down, time. Down the road. And down the road. I don't want to jump the gun with that and then yeah. jack things up. Yes. Back to your family. You know what I love about your family? Um, especially with your youngest brother, mm. and you have been acting for four years. Your parents have never been your managers? No. They're just the parents. Yes. Which, uh, which I like that. That's, their, that's what they view as their job. Okay. So, do your parents watch the managers? Oh, absolutely. My mom trusts no one. Okay, exactly. <laughs> no. Exactly. Everybody is on the email chain. Yes. 
Yeah, no, she trusts uh, no one. And, you know, we've been with the same people for such a long period of time, but everybody knows, you know, you, you have to get past mama first. Yes, yes. Mama bear. Yeah. Nice, I like that. All right, so now let's talk this Walking Dead. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's a, you've got a cult following. You've got a cult following um, in the show. Were you into zombies and things like that I prior? Was. I was. Okay, so I moved out of my parents' house. I was about 18. Um, and for some reason, I became obsessed with zombie apocalypse. Like, I thought that could happen. And now that I'm on my own, I now have to know these things and take care of myself. <laughs> so I was, like, taking in all, all information I could about it. Um, and that's when I really got into The Walking Dead. And was like, this show is just fantastic with great actors and all of that. And it was like, I'd love to be a part of this someday and never thought I actually would. So, so I was told that you posted an Instagram. But first of all, you had to keep the secret for like six months yes. you were even going to be a part of I the show. I kept it a secret for six months. I'm sorry to everyone I lied to. And then, and then look, so and then sorry. when you finally made the announcement on your social media, it blew up. So you went from having zero followers because you just opened Instagram or something? Yeah, to uh, 50,000 in a week. In a, within a week. The, the Walking Dead family is like no other. The so fans now, are like no other. Do you feel like you've got to feed the beast every day with yes. new pictures? <laughs> I never take photos of myself, and now yeah. I find myself just like, uh, in my pantry. D yeah. Just like, I don't, I don't know yeah. what. You, you gotta do something. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back. Yes, I'm always, I'm always coming back. You're such a nice young man. I don't know your parents, but they've done a really good job with My you. My parents have done a fantastic job. Congratulations on everything, everybody. Thanks. This is Tyler James Williams, and Walking Dead airs Sunday nights at 9 on AMC.